Hi, in this video we're going to look into how to remove glue from wigs, beards and moustaches. First of all, you always have to stay safe. This is a forced ventilation cabinet, so you don't have to expose yourself to any solvents. If you don't have that, you can use uh, a gas mask. Heptane and acetone is the two chemicals we are using to remove everything in a 50-50 mix. Once you've glued on a beard or a moustache, you always get leftovers and usually looks like this, the lace is full. full. So now we are starting to put gloves on in the forced ventilation cabinet before we start taking up any solvents. I'm taking out a pretty generous amount of both acetone and heptane which I mix. This mix tends to um, be able to remove most kinds of glue, so spirit gum, silicon glues, cross aid, everything. We're going to start with the beard and just start combing it first to make sure there's no knots and things in it because there's always a bit of glue coming out and I'm trying to remove most of it and then you just sink it into the solvent and let it work for a little bit just dabbing it with a short bristled brush the stiffer the better we are going to be very careful about the lace because it can quite easily be broken so then I'm putting it down onto the towel I have here and uh, let the glue soak into the towel. So don't use your most expensive towel because it is going to be destroyed. And when you see me brushing on the lace, I'm never brushing on the very edge of the lace. I'm very very careful there because if you're not, you are not going to have any lace left. So I'm brushing a bit in on the lace, half a centimeter or something. And then I'm just washing the entire hair as well in the solvent mix and combing that out. So make sure you have a comb that can take acetone. Do a test first, otherwise your comb can melt and end up in the entire beard. Let it take its time. I've done this a hundred, hundreds of thousands of times, so I can do it pretty quickly. But if you're a beginner, take it easy. It should at least take three times as long as when I'm doing it. I also have to be very careful on when you're combing it so you don't get stuck with the comb in the lace because you can rip it up. The easiest glue to remove, in my opinion, it's uh, Telus's glue or silicon glues. Uh, Cryolon has one as well. I think it's called Special Glue uh, 2 or something. Might, might be the Prosape copy, I'm not sure. And you can see I keep looking at it quite carefully all the time to make sure the glue is coming up. I'm inspecting it. Found a bit more that needed to be taken away. On this particular one, there was a mix of both silicon glue and prosade. It was some prosade on the top edge because I had some loose hair on over the edge. And with prosade you need to let it soak for a bit longer. But then it can come off in, in nice big chunks. All silicon based glues they uh, they tend to dissolve down in, in the heptane. 
and I add the acetone to the mix because uh, it tends to remove the greasiness of the silicon glue a bit better. Now it's time for the moustache. It wasn't that much uh, leftovers on, on the moustache here. So, uh, and it was only silicon glue, so it was quite easy to remove. And then you just take a bit of extra uh, solvent just to soak the top edge when I'm dabbing it at the end there, combing it out. Double check. And for the wig, I only wash the uh, parts on the temples because um, that's usually the only place I glue down a wig. And same thing here, I used silicon glue, so not much left on there to begin with. Alright, I think that's done now there. As I said in the text in the beginning, it's probably the most boring video ever, but it can help. Um, when the solvents evaporate, you get all the glues stuck down in the tray you used, so I always wipe it up with a paper towel. And uh, leave everything in there under forced ventilation until it's complete, completely evaporated. I'll show you clean clean wig and clean beard and then we're done so remember to stay safe don't expose yourself to any solvents whatsoever and then you'll be fine okay good luck